brethren are being Hello, Talos. So one thing that's worth noting is that in the prologue, Stalkers Only has bun been done. Who did Stalkers Only, Paul Legend? Who did Stalkers Only without the Spear of a Dune? Because I don't know of anybody that has successfully done it, and I would like to see how they did the host. Nobody has finished it? Then it's not been done! <laughs> you can't just have... Se oh, someone started this thing once, so you're never allowed to do it, okay? Never, ever, ever allowed to do... What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's how actually uh, politics works, is first person to start in a race, they win. Like, I'm going to go uh, put my 2032 Senate application in right now, and then no one else is allowed to run for Senate, and I'm going to get all the Senate seats. Because, I mean, if they start to apply for it, it's going to be, no, you can't do that. Someone else started it. I complete blindfolded StarCraft 2. Uh, how much fun did it look like I had during that video? <laughs> I think that's the answer to that question. Minions, push forward. Slay these hybrid thralls to the last. <laughs> Grant establishing the Galactic Empire. I would be the Senate at that point. You are correct. Stalkers only is a lot harder than it sounds. I think that is the thing here. Is It sounds like, oh yeah, Stalkers are good. They have Blink Micro. The enemies in Legacy of the Void, if you're not using the Spear of a Dune, are obscene. They're absurd. They're just, they're so stupidly strong. Stalker DPS is garbage, too. Like, it's just, it's a joke. Compared to, like, the Lings, I believe that one of my Raptor Lings has more DPS than a Stalker. Yeah, Legacy of the Void definitely, it has the strongest enemies in the campaign, and it's not even close. Wouldn't Warcraft Blindfold be easier than StarCraft 2? Probably. However, I also don't know Warcraft as well. And I think to do anything like that, I mean, here's the thing, is I'll be like completely honest businessman Grant for you, because I have to think about things from a business perspective. That video did terribly. The blindfolded video did really, really, really bad. It is the worst performing video I've ever made. And I can't afford, it took me more than 100 hours to do all the routing for that run, the execution, and the video making. I literally cannot afford to do stuff like that if it's gonna flop that hard. I thought it was a good video. I honestly thought that I did a good job making it. I think Finlay did a good job in his parts as well, and we came together with a good product, but people weren't interested in watching it, unfortunately. So, as much as I'd like to do that stuff, I gotta keep my future in mind. Wait, the game is set under StarCraft 1? Are you kidding? Wait, YouTube.com. Why would... They did that again? Oh my gosh. One sec. No way. Content. Oh, I hate it when this stuff changes. YouTube is so frustrating that way. Um, where do you change the game? Because I set it to StarCraft 2. Details. Show more. The game title's literally blank on my thing. What is this? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. I need to... <laughs> this is of utmost importance. StarCraft 2. Save. Well, let's see if that fixes it. I'm here in the shadow. Um. Are you kidding? 
can't believe it did that. So I have a problem with YouTube where it resets my stuff sometimes. And that's one of those things that's hidden within multiple menus. The game, which game it is, and the game will, if it doesn't know what it is, it will auto detect. And sometimes YouTube forms just reset themselves. Oh no. Because I checked that. I'm going to hope that that's the reason. I also renamed it the other day. I renamed it uh, from its normal name, or from what the previous name was, which was like trying to be clickbait. Oh, Chaotic Penguin with 1,300 bits. Thank you so much. And five tier one community. Oh, I, uh, or I thanked you for the subs already. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Because people are being so generous. Oh yeah, I renamed the video that's so it's more in line with my other videos. I hope that that helps out so that people know exactly what it is. Uh, I tried to deviate from my naming scheme, but I think that I need to... I don't know how the algorithm works, but I think that I need to name all of my videos Can You Blank 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 Blank, if that makes sense. Alright, so this run, my goal is to learn how to be like parting. And if I can do that then it'll be really successful in the long term. Because that man, I don't know how he does it, but he takes like two Blink Stalkers and he destroys maxed out armies. And I want to learn how to do that. My blinking is pretty rudimentary at this point. The, soar the Super Soaring Hawk subscribing at Tier 1. Thank you so much. I have a couple minutes here. I believe the next attack hits my base at the 12 minute mark. I think this is a mission where attacks come every four minutes. I don't remember it exactly. Actually, this mission specifically has all the attacks written down on the Liquipedia page for it. So if someone could jump to Liquipedia and find this mission and then like copy paste into chat the attack waves, the times, I would really appreciate that. It would make my life a lot easier so I don't get randomly counterattacked and die. Oh, I'm getting cheeky today. <laughs> For which missions? Just this mission. I just don't want to die to random stuff. Twelve minutes from the north. Okay. So I'm going to... Actually, I'm just going to move back and defend. And then I'll keep going. I am the voice. Tear apart their reactor. The Queen of Blades. I can't wait to free the captives so I could execute them. That sounds like fun. So, oh, okay. So it's 12 minutes, then 17 minutes. That's interesting. And that's good knowledge to have. So it's not every four. It's four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, five minutes, three minutes. They just throw a little spice in there. Do you think that the guy that was designing the attack waves on this mission was like, okay, every four minutes I'm going to do this. And then his boss came in and he's like, you're being so lazy, Steve. You need to do better than this, man. And he's like, fine. Five minutes and three minutes. And the boss is just like, oh, Steve, you're a genius. How did you figure it out? Oh, this is going right into the campaign. We're going to give you a gold star. And that's how this came to be. Because that's how I like to believe it happens. I spend a lot of time... I don't want to say fantasizing, because that has very weird undertones to it as a word that I don't imply here. But I like thinking about what the design space could be. What people were doing why they did the things that they did. Because a lot of the time in game design, you're like, this beautifully ornately designed thing is actually like, I don't know why I did it. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. Or I was feeling lazy and it just, it happened to work out. I don't know. And I kind of love that. That art gets made accidentally. That was a pretty decent engagement. 
<laughs> you can tell with the difference of micro that I'm a Protoss player. The Zergling is just like, uh, I don't know, they A-move. Warriors, there is another cell ahead. Go forth and claim the vengeance you seek. Oh, we gotta bop these warp-in boys. Nice warp-in, loser. I don't really have that much DPS, though, so I guess the Marauders can come. So 17 minutes is the next attack move. Er, the next enemy attack. The goal is to get to the bridge by then and then be able to pull back home. No tanks here. Blink stalkers are a weird balance of moving forward and then blinking back, and I've never quite been great at it. Or rather, I'm okay at it, and then I have 7,000 minerals in the bank when I look back. Which I think is a very common problem in StarCraft. Where you get so focused on doing cool stuff that you forget that you're supposed to build an army in this army building game. So now I'm going to prepare for the next attack wave, then we'll go breach the thing. My progress, I'm feeling pretty strong here. I'm making extra workers. Army's pretty big, it's fully upgraded because I can only get 111 here. I think the next mission is going to be absolutely... Just like the worst thing ever. Because that mission's already really hard. And it's like Mass Immortal Carrier Void Ray Colossus Tempest. <laughs> I'm gonna have to beat all that with Stalkers. It's not that bad? Okay, I'll believe you. So where are the tanks here? Oh, they give you full vision of the room. One tank. Worth it. So Warhounds have this random rocket thing that fires at a nearby mechanical unit. I don't know exactly how the targeting works, but it will just randomly kill my stuff. I think it just targets the closest mechanical unit. But I don't really remember. The Heart of the Swarm beta was a long time ago. <laughs> right, you gotta... Against splash damage, micro against multiple targets. Is it hit scan? Can you be dodged with blink? I don't think you can dodge the rockets. At least they're very, very fast. But I think they have tracking. Your time is running short. So the next attack is coming soon. Kerrigan, you know as well as I that Ingmon lives. Slaying his hybrid is a meaningless act. We must awaken the Zelnaga. No response. Reason with a stone and a zerg. The final cell awaits us, Zeratul. We should delay no longer. What do we have? One, two, three. I have extra gas. I'm not. I think I'm gonna go one gas here, not both of them, because that'll just be too much. I am here in the shadows. So 20 minutes is the attack wave, and I hope that they hit this side. And then, is there another attack after the 20 minute mark? That is a very important question. Oh, they don't even warn me about this one. Is this run easier or harder than Zerglings only? It looks like it's going to be about the same. 
where it's going to be a lot of missions that are just tenacity and good blinking. And then there's going to be some missions that are easy wins, such as the early ones. And then there's going to be uh, the end game, which just seems absurd. All of the Taldorim planet seems really hard, and then all of Ire seems really hard. And uh, I don't think anyone has figured out how to do the host yet. Spear of a Dune ability. Uh, could we make a mod command for the rules? That'd be really appreciative. Uh, the rules are Spear of a Dune passives are okay. Spear of a Dune actives are not okay. Stalkers are the only unit that's allowed to do damage. No cannons, no Kaidaran monoliths, but shield batteries are fine because shield batteries don't kill people. Then again, the campaign shield battery is actually kind of garbage, and Minions. I'm not going to use Go it much, probably. I, wish to be done with this already. I don't have that much time left, do I? Kerrigan is making really good progress here. Uh, check this area for tanks. I'm not seeing any. Nice missile, loser. Then again, I also didn't snipe you, so I'm a loser. Oh yeah, these don't auto-morph. I don't know when it's correct to blink on top of things and when it's not. That's something that in somehow in 10 years I've not figured out. But I'm trying to get more aggressive with my blinking because that's what, like, parting does. And literally, I just kind of defer to him when it comes to how to blink. I'm starting to run out of mineral fields, so I really gotta get going. Because I think I'm the fairly prototypical Protoss player where you just blink backwards over and over and over again and you think that's the entirety of Blink Micro. Because it's what makes most intuitive sense, you know. Thank you, Chaotic Penguin, for another 200 bits. I really appreciate it. Honestly, this mission was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Maybe I need to stop building normal units when I play it. There are some tanks here. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Try to pull these away from the next bunker tank line, and then take them out. Ugh, we're getting shelled by the tanks. Pull back a tiny little bit. How are you doing? Uh, not great. So I do need to do this before the next round. Easy peasy. Nice. 